Hello, I'm Alex Shiba, Solution Architect, Psycho USA. Today I would like to show you a brand new free shared source module called Media Library Policeman. And I want to walk through a couple of different scenarios. First of all, I would like to show the end user aspect of the module, how this module can be used in your environment, what challenges it solves. Uh, then we're going to go through the actual installation configuration process, what it takes to get this thing installed, and then we're going to jump into the code and I'm going to show you how it's implemented. So here I have the sandbox environment running with this module installed and configured, and I'm running 6.2 revision 10.05.07. I'm going to log into desktop and go to the media library. So the first thing you've noticed about this module is that there is this media restrictions section that gives you a set of warnings. So if you go through a few folders here in media library, you can see that Psycho warns you that uh, there are specific restrictions set on a media folder level. So end users can pretty much get an idea what they can upload into the folders uh, before they actually try and upload something and you can see that we have a few things here this is all configurable and extensible but by default uh, the following warnings and checks are included so the first one uh, is saying uh, maximum file size so that's all configurable uh, restriction inheritance enabled that means that uh, subfolders can inherit settings restriction settings from parent folders so you can set pretty much global settings on media library item and then that's gonna get propagated and respected across all subfolders. Uh, then the next one is called maximum item count so as you can imagine you don't wanna have users upload thousands of media objects into the root of the media library so you can easily uh, restrict that here and also excluded and included extensions so you have ability to control what can be uploaded into specific folders by extensions um, and what I'm gonna go through here is the admin perspective so if I'm an admin I have access to uh, view the content tab and view a few uh, sections here uh, in a few fields that actually control this behavior uh, so if I'm a Psycho admin, a power user, I obviously have access to all of this. So I can pretty much make a decision what can be set up for what folder. So if I'm under PDF folder, it makes sense for me to restrict all upload actions to PDF only. I may also adjust and override the file size limit here. And same thing applies to any, any other folder really and so you can see that's pretty much what's driving all of these restrictions uh, so once the solution is deployed you can use standard psycho security to restrict access to all of these fields only only specific type of users based on their role permissions can actually add it this uh, settings so if I'm a business user now, right, I would want to have uh, a few files uploaded. So that's the way it works. I'm going to click same process. I'm going to click the uh, upload files button. And let's see, I want to try and upload uh, an image into the PowerPoints folder. So I'm going to click upload. And you can see that the error message saying that the file could not be uploaded and you can see the log file for more detail. Now there is a bit of a technical challenge to actually have a more verbose and more meaningful error message here in, the, in this pop-up. That's why this media restriction view here actually warns the user that there, there are specific restrictions on the folder. Uh, so I can close out from here and pretty much learn what the settings are and it should make sense to a user what can be uploaded here and you can see that included extension PPT PPTX that's why I can fix that um, by going and select an actual PowerPoint file and click open 
so this file is 266 kilobytes and you can see we have maximum file size of 1 meg so we should be good here and you can see now upload succeeded if we go ahead and try uh, a few files here different but different scenario um, and try and open it the same process is gonna work for every file uh, in this list and you can see we're trying to upload a PowerPoint file with a bigger size and we could not do it and specifically it's this PowerPoint file which is over six mags and that's just not going through so to demonstrate uh, the power of inheritance here we can go into the toolbox folder here with all images and say that we we would want to have um, this value removed we can save it and you can see the maximum count is set to 100 again so by setting it on the local level you can actually control subfolders pretty easily so let's bring it back to 5 and then go down and try and we have four images here let's try and upload two more the PNG images will work because our included extension clearly indicates that so we should be good here so let's try and click upload and you can see only first image got actually uploaded the second one uh, did not because we already have more than uh, five files so we exceeded that threshold of maximum items so that upload did not succeed in terms of other scenarios I mean, you can think of more obviously but that's that's pretty much the functionality from end-user perspective in terms of what settings um, ha take precedence obviously the excluded extension is more powerful than included extension so if I want to do something globally and disable upload all, all zip files even if zip files included somewhere that would not be allowed so that's that's pretty much the end-user aspect of of this module now let's take a closer look into how this module is actually implemented so the first thing I want to show you is the main configuration file because that's the answer to all the questions so the approach I'm taking here is additional processor that is being added into UI upload pipeline and that's being inserted just after the check size processor you can see that's referencing my custom restriction check and checker uh, pipeline and within that I can open up this processor and it's going to show you the code that is executed so the main method process is pretty much grabbing all files that are being uploaded and run some checks on them and if there isn't some kind of error message return it's gonna abort the pipeline and output some information to the cycle log so the run checks is pretty much using policeman class to check for uh, max item count check for the size check for extensions and all of that uh, and if we go to the actual policeman implementation that's where the performing of actual check is happening so if we go into the check max item count can see it's fairly simple um, first of all I need to get max item count for the media folder and that is a recursive uh, check for field value that max item count field value this is just a GUID and I'm returning that as a string and after I'm returning that I'm um, parsing that and pretty much checking if uh, children count is less than count then uh, then I'm returning um, true uh, pretty much and continue so a similar way check size is implemented uh, but just different logic is there check extension for included and excluded extension and all of that so you can take a look at the sources there available and you can check that out if we go back to the config file 
uh, the next thing you've noticed uh, is the pipeline in the pipeline main pipeline section there's this get content editor warning this is a way for us to extend the and add additional warnings that appear in the content editor area there on the top and this is just my custom warnings pretty much I'm uh, using same um, policeman manager to get all violations for my uh, specific media folder here and I'm pretty much outputting that into adding that into collection and that's been used to render those uh, warnings in the UI and the rest is just kind of system level for those controls to work fine uh, I have a custom uh, item warning a web edit control that actually renders uh, those uh, warnings here and you can take a look and it's fairly basic uh, what it's doing but you can pretty much leverage that for any custom warnings that you want to show other than that uh, there is this XML new XML version of media folder um, that's where I'm pretty much adding the definition of my item warnings control uh, to show up to to render those warnings so that's that's the only thing I need to to change here and you can see it's still referencing the client uh, code beside here so I didn't do didn't have to do any any changes there I hope this gives you good high-level overview and now let's take a look into the module package what's included into that and how this can be installed on your system okay so what is here in the module I'm gonna open up the package designer and I'm gonna show you which files and items are included so first of all we can see that the config file containing necessary configuration information is included that XML control that I just went through is here so we put here into the overwrite folder uh, so we don't need to overwrite the physical file Psycho will pick up this new implementation automatically also the DLL with compiled code is here in terms of items uh, I do have a changed media folder item I add the data section with all of those settings uh, I add that for the media folder template directly and the standard values with some default values in them as well so that should be a pretty safe addition because media folder doesn't have any fields out of the box so we don't need to overwrite anything so that's the module uh, as you can imagine it, it will be installed through the installation wizard so you download it and just go through the standard process uh, upload or browse if you put that into the package folder and then just go through the steps it should not even warn you about any collision so I hope it's gonna be a very simple and straightforward process okay that's it folks hope you like it check out the source code can download and perform any changes modifications visit my blog if you don't know anything about Sitecore visit our website and check out our new software see you later bye